It's a Dodo Weekly Show. Yay! Hey guys, today's December 24th, 2011. I am Luminous, your host for Dodo Weekly Show. And let's get on to the news. It's been a while, so I have a lot of tournament results stocked up for you guys. First and foremost, Malaysia's Dota 2 Invitational was taken by Orange. They beat on Mistrust in an epic best of five series. The end result was 3 to 2 in favor of Orange. And Orange was the team with uh, Mushi on the coaching spot, Yamate, among a lot of other high school players. And Mushi, as a coach, he shouldn't have played, but he played indeed, so that was like one really, really stacked roster. So they beat out Myth Trust in a very epic series. Uh, the VODs are up for the entire tournament on Ghostu Gamer's own 3D po profile. Um, I had a chance to cast with Purge Gamer from Ghostu Gamer, and it was a pretty, pretty good game, so we cast it. Um, I didn't cast the final, but still, the entire tournament was really, really nicely played. Some of my favorite uh, Southern East Asian team were there. Mineski was there, MUFC was there, and I MYM was there, I, and I got uh, to cast a couple of their games. So, really, really good series, really, really good games overall. The VOD, again, the link's going to be in the description box below, so check that one out. Second thing is the Inside Dota Invitational, which I personally casted and had uh, eight of the best European teams out there. MPW, MTW was there, uh, Mouse Sport was there, and uh, the winner of the tournament though was PAG. I'm not too sure if you guys know who they are. They are formerly known as the Elder Gods, uh, some Dota 1 players uh, should know. And uh, they're looking for a sponsor, one, and they took the tournament with convincing results. I think they dropped like one game in the entire tournament. Nicely done. Next, Kazakhstan took number two. And again, the final was a pretty good series. We have some really awesome hero. We think it has like things like Slaughter, Stealth Assassin. Really, really cool hero. And shout out to B-Balling for coming me alongside. Uh, we got to cast a final together, or cast some of this games together, and it was really, really fun. So that was the Inside Dota Invitational. I'm not too sure whether the VODs are available, uh, but if they are, if I find out the link, I'll put it in the description box below. And then, of course, another tournament result is VenQ, casted by Join Dota's uh, Toby. And I heard, I did not watch it myself, but I heard the tournament had epic, epic final between N N9, which is Natural 9, and M5. And I heard that series was really cool. I heard that there's a couple games in the tournament that was really cool as well. Uh, N9 took the result. That was really, really nice. And it was really shocking because uh, everyone expected M5. It's like, oh yeah, they're in final. They're going to win the game, uh, win the tournament. But it was it was N9. So really, really cool. Again, VODs are going to be in the uh, description box. You guys can watch a lot of stuff for you guys to watch if you're into Dota 2. Now, before I get into the biggest news to me for this year, I want to just quickly point out that no other eSport game had as much tournament as Dota 2 did, just in the beta phase. Yes, StarCraft didn't have it. No other game had as many tournaments as Dota 2 did. And this is looking good. This is, look, this is, this is only 2011. 2012, we're going to have more tournaments. And speaking of tournaments... DotaCommentaries.com will be casting for the Premier League, which is a $10,000 tournament sponsored by Twitch TV and Ainge. And this is going to be legit stuff. Not only is it $10,000 tournament, it's going to run for 2-3 months. Every single week, you're going to see 5 teams or 5 matchups, 10 teams going up against each other. And some of the invited teams are insane. This is the first time that Chinese teams are going to be participating in an online Dota 2 tournament. Yes. That is a legit, well, aside from Ehome that participated in the other tournament, but, you know, many Chinese teams, DK, Nirvana, China, WE, Tailu, they're going to be in our tournament, and I'm going to be live casting it, and it's going to be epic, it's going to be epic. Coverage is going to start on January the 4th, and the matches is every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I think it's something like 14 CT, 16 CT, you guys could do the time conversion. I think for, for you guys in the West Coast, uh, you might have a little bit of time catching it live. Do you watch the VODs if you can't catch it live? But for you, the rest of you guys, please support us. Please support me. And it's going to be great. I'll, I'll try my best to bring you guys the best cast. And it's going to be cool. Now, before, before I move on to, like, you know, whatever that's after the news, there is a legitimate concern because I'm, casting four, I'm live casting four days a week. And I still want to bring you guys things like, you know, Dota Weekly Show. I still want to bring you guys Learning with Lumi series, Pubbing with Lumi series, and then, of course, commentary content for, for my YouTube channel. And I'm starting to get a little bit concerned. Like, you know, you know I, I, I am Luminous, so I am, like, super powered and everything. But I don't know. Can I do all that, all that stuff? So uh, I'll try my best to give you guys content, uh, even on the YouTube channel. 
probably I'll port some uh, content from the uh, from the Premier League over to the YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll give you guys content, so don't even trip. Okay, so normally here's where I say, oh yeah, we're done with the news, so let's move on to the mechanics. Instead of mechanics this time, I want to talk about Dota 7.3, and if you guys... Living Under the Rock, yeah, 6.73 just came out not too long ago, and oh my goodness, this patch is insane. It's insane. Like, I feel like I'm literally seven years old again reading this patch. No, no other holiday season at the end of the year got me so giddy like a seven-year-old boy, like this 6.73 six, patch. Holy effing cow, it is a great patch. Now, normally I would do like a very, very detailed log analysis. I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to talk in passing some of the things that jumped out to me and that I thought was awesome. That was really cool. Uh, B-Balling and I will be doing a very, very detailed patch analysis. I think it's going to be up on his channel in the today or tomorrow in, in the nearby future. So keep an eye out on B-Balling's channel. We're going to be doing a very detailed analysis uh, and, and that's going to be cool. So some of the things that jumped out to me that was really, really funny was Axe, right? Axe is the most underused hero ever in those both Dota 1 and Dota 2 and he just got huge buff. Now I personally like to pop stop with you know Battle Hunger Axe coming out of jungle and gank but now it's it's gonna be epic. I think it, they got a buff in terms of doing more damage or now it, it gives you moments a uh, movement speed when you battle hunger a unit. Uh, now when you coaling blade you get movement bonus and it's, and your and your counter helix is more damage. It's like legit stuff. It's just legit buff. Hopefully teams are gonna be starting to pick more axe more often. Slark, another puff stomping hero, is is getting huge buff. Pounce now has a ridiculous range at level one. It does dam. I didn't even know it did damage before, but now it does damage even more damage. Shadow Dance does more stuff. I mean, like a whole bunch of buffs. Uh, it's it's definitely the case that Ice Frog is uh, trying to buff like lower tier heroes and try to buff them uh, to higher tier, which is cool, which is cool. Uh, but I, I was actually expecting to some to some nerfs on some of the more OP heroes, like Celebrate didn't get touched. I was like, what? Bat Rider didn't get touched. What? Like, but it's okay, it's okay. And apparently Phoenix needed a buff. Okay, like that hero is OP, but hey, Ice Rock, buff him. It's okay, I still love you. I still love you. Um, there's some other really cool hero, like the most useless hero in the game, like Sven, got a buff, so, but still he is the still mostly useless hero because his mana pool didn't get changed, his Storm Bolt mana cost didn't get changed, so once done, you're done. That, that thing is still there. Uh, but yeah, his, his, uh, his War Cry got a buff, his now doesn't have a casting animation, his uh, ultimate got a buff. I thought that was really funny. I, it's, uh, Ursa Warrior got a buff, oh, I'm, I'm looking for any, like, these are all, you know, pub stomping heroes, and, and it's so fun to, to see them buff, because I'm going to be pub stomping with them, you, you guys can bet on that. Um, and of course, there's addition of four heroes, yes, four new heroes. Yeah, I haven't played 6.73 yet. But just judging from the changelog, one of the heroes just stood out to me, and I think he's going to be a really, really badass hero. This is the Legion Commander, and what that hero does, really, really funny spells, right? So he has one spell that it's so OP, you cast a buff on a, an ally or on yourself, and when you cast that buff... Stun is debuff. So someone, your friend gets magic missile, you cast that stuff on him, magic missile gone, done, easy. And not only that, that hero gets insane attack speed increase. That hero gets 60 HP regen per second for force. That is 240 HP of regen. That is, and that's a freaking legit heal. But not only does heal, keep in mind that it gives you attack speed. It gives you freaking like uh, debuff. Like, what is this? This is like OP stuff. That's that's only one of his spells. He has a passive that when you hit him, it has a chance to proc, and when it procs, it hits you back like a, like a, a strike back or a counter strike or something like that. And not only does he hit you back, he hits you back with a crit. It's like you hitting me, son. That's his respect, son. Like bam, and hits you back. Like dude, that's OP. But not that's not it. That's not it. His ultimate, the duel, basically like puts you and 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 uh, whoever you target against like in a one v one arena. And you guys can't run, you guys can't cast spells, you guys just whack each other to death. And whoever comes out of the duel uh, victoriously uh, will get plus 10 damage permanently. So you cast that attack speed thing on yourself, you cast that regen thing on yourself, and you see a crystal maiden be like, yo, let's duel. And when she hits you back, disrespect, son, and be like, bam, plus 10 damage permanently. Like, that hero is so awesome, and I'm, again, I'm like a 7-year-old kid. On, on the end of the year holiday seasons, opening my presents. Like, I, I'm just, thank you, Ice Rock, thank you. Now, that's not all. We have some really, really cool items. Um, there, there's, uh, there's a Rod of Altos, which gives you a cripple effect for 3k gold. It gives you 20 strength, uh, 250 HP, 
Like, that's a really nice build-up for an intelligence item. Um, it gives you a cripple uh, effect, 40% active slow single target, really cool. There's an item, I think it's called Heaven's Helper. Uh, it prevents enemy from attacking, like, you know, Deathling Blast or Phoenix Dive, that, that anti-attack, uh, uh, that's single target as well. That's really cool. Uh, we had a Ring of the Saves upgrade. We have Necromonicon getting buffs, yeah! Uh, we have Veil of the Score getting buffs, yeah, man, like, Ice Rock. We bros, we bros. So like a lot of huge buff, and and I'm I'm just happy. I'm really really happy. I'm sick of seeing the same same 20, 20, 25 heroes in the competitive scene, and hopefully, some of these changes will impact the competitive team. Be like, yeah, man, let's look at Axe. Let's see what could what we could do with this hero. And of course, uh, Necrolite got a huge buff as well. Now, whenever you kill a hero with level four status, you are restoring six hundred mana. Yes, 600 mana. That means that you can go like freaking Refresher or Reaper Scythe. You Reaper Scythe and like, bam, mana back, refresh, bam, double kill, full mana. Like, that, that's just that's just insane. Um, so, I, like, of course, Dota 1 is kind of like a dying game when it comes to competitive scene. So my question to you guys is, my question to Valve is, how soon are we going to port this all these changes back to Dota 2? Because if it ports back to Dota 2, you could be sure... That it's gonna be, it's gonna cause a ripple in the in the competitive scene in terms of you know new heroes being picked up. I I'm looking for maybe maybe it's gonna be next week because every every Thursday we're gonna have a patch note change. Uh, maybe it's gonna be in two weeks because you know it is end of the year holiday seasons. People are taking a break, so maybe hopefully in two weeks we're gonna see huge changes in the competitive scene. I'm looking forward to that. So that's cool. And yes, I will be doing a lot of with uh, pubbing with Lumi series in the next couple of days. Kind of just try out some of these new heroes. If you want to try out Axe, I want to try out Slark. That Legion Commander sounds really, really cool. So look forward to pubbing with Lumi series, or as you guys call it, trolling with Lumi series. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I can promise you that. <laughs> just before I end this, this is the end of the year holiday seasons. And at DotaComSeries.com, between the staff members, we have this thing called the Secret Santa. Uh, if you don't know what Secret Santa is, it's basically a group of people. And we, we secretly give someone a gift. So um, I'm going to give someone a gift, and that person don't know who, who's giving him the gift. And some, someone secretly gave me a gift, and I don't know who, who gave me the gift until I received it, right? So I woke up this morning, December 24th, and I received a package in the mail, right? And my, my glasses was on, wasn't on, and my contact wasn't on, so I was a little bit groggy. I, I don't know exactly what I'm receiving. So when I opened the package, right, when I opened the package and I, I, and I got this... I got this, right? Can you guys see this? Oh, you guys see that? Right here, right here. You know what I expected? You know what I expected? I expected some tentacle, but when I flipped it around, it was uh, Kanokon, which is an etchy slash romance anime. I, don't, I personally don't really like etchy, but when I received it and when I realized what it was, I was, I was busting out laughing because, you know, every, everyone in the going through the community thinks I'm like a huge tentacle hentai fan. I've never watched any tentacle hentai, but if someone really sent me tentacle hentai on Christmas, I yes, I, I will I will watch it. Uh, but unfortunately not that's, that's the case. <laughs> but anyway, Arcep, shout out to Arcep who is an admin uh, an admin on Dotacom TS.com. He sent me this. <laughs> I really enjoyed the gift. I'm gonna watch it. Even though it's not my preferred genre, I will watch it. Thank you for sending me that gift. And um, yeah, for you guys, I'm not too sure what I personally could do you guys uh, for a gift. I probably would pump out a couple of content videos for you guys to watch. Whether it's going to be a commentary or a pumping Lumi series. But whatever it might be. What are you going to be busy watching VODs? Uh, busy watching my videos on my channel? Uh, doing whatever you're going to do. What, you know, playing 6.73, playing Dota 2. Please take a couple hours of your time and spend it with your family. This is the time of the year where we kind of... Cuddle, out, cuddle around with my family, you know, tell mom, hey, I love you, I, I appreciate what you do for us, you know, just spend a little bit of time with your family and, and take a little bit of time off gaming, because yes, gaming is important to all of us, but family is probably more important, so that's it from me, this is the last Dota Weekly Show of the year, hope you guys enjoyed it, it's been a great year for Illumina Studios, and I uh, thank you for your support, and uh, yes, go have fun, thank you for watching, and as always, this is Luminous, signing off, see you guys.